Gang, Hessel Gang, Alternen, Chocolate, Ovo. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to show you how I teach uh, my three year old based on the Montessori method. And I'm also going to show you how I entertain my three year old. And we did a lot of like uh, sensory plays, sensory activities, and science experiments as well. So hopefully, this video will give you some ideas. And at the end, I'm just going to show you the book ideas as well that we usually read. And we change it every week because I usually borrow it from the library. And I'm also going to show you the lunchbox ideas. I like to make easy and fun lunch boxes like a bento boxes. So I'm going to show you what I made for this week. If you are interested for more lunchbox ideas, you can also follow my Instagram. It's at Angie Louise. I have tons of fun uh, lunchboxes and Brandon loves this one. And it looks complicated, uh, but it actually takes about 5 to 15 minutes. Depends on the complexity, but usually it doesn't take more than 15 minutes. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Angie Lois. I am a mom of three-year-old preschoolers and I made tons of videos about motherhood, homeschool, family lifestyles, and travel. So for the week 5, I made a tons of printables based on the Halloween themes and this one is color the shapes and we're gonna color this shape and make pizza and this afternoon we're also gonna make a tortilla, tortilla pizza as well together. Uh, on week 1, I also made a tons of free printables for the days of the week, uh, months of the year and I also make a days of the week tracing so he gonna trace this today. So I also made a count and trace so he can count the bats and uh, learn about the number in, in English and in Bahasa and he also gonna trace this uh, number six and he also gonna trace letters and uppercase letters and lowercase letters so he can learn about both and again it's Halloween team So today we're gonna learn about the printables for week five and it's Halloween team are you excited? Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna do this one first, okay? So we have seven pages for the Halloween team and for this one is color the shapes. So basically we're gonna make a pizza and the pizza has a lot of like toppings and uh, with a lot of shapes. The children need to color toppings and the shapes based on Mommy, this color at the top, yes. I will turn I know. And then later on, he, they're gonna count like how many square, how many triangles, and how many hearts on the pizza. So we're gonna do that, okay? Yeah. Okay. So he's coloring the shapes based on the instructions, and we're gonna count like he already count that for the square. They have three squares, so we put the number three here. Can you count how many bats? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. From up, try. So, so far so good. He's really enjoying the tracing and he also requested that he wants the transformer team. So I'm going to make that one later on, like the printable space on the transformer team. A very good job. So I just want to show you why I created the free printables. It's because as you can see, he can trace the letters from A to Z nicely. And um, so I bought this book before. I really love it. It's really colorful and it's wipe and clean worksheets and he can use it over and over again. But somehow he's not really interested in use, um, in writing this one. When I did this in a paper, he likes it and he can like trace from A to Z. So I'm really surprised he can do it. It's, he's doing pretty good. So, I don't know, just keep changing around. So that's why I like to make the free printables every week because somehow he can listen better uh, instead of buying the book activities from the dollar stores or from the bookstores. Uh, but of course you want to change it up a bit. Um, I still use both, but somehow I feel that he's interested more when I make the printables and print it one by one per sheets. He can concentrate more instead of like the whole book. So Brandon already traced all the shapes as well and again I'm quite surprised that he wants to do this and this one as well because usually when we do it in the book it's really hard to persuade him so somehow he always loved my printables uh, compared to other like books that I bought from the stores. So these are some example of the printables that I made before and it's free and you can find it from the teachers pay teachers website or from the apps. 
and I don't know why he loves it better so maybe it's because uh, when usually I teach him I give him uh, one page at a time um, yeah somehow he likes this one better compared to the one from the book and he can concentrate more so I have a different team every week so make sure to check it out so because I use Montessori method, I usually teach him about math skills as well on top of the language skills and as well as like cultural studies about geography and biology and geology. So on my previous principles from week 1 to week 5, I teach him about numbers and also shapes. So that's why I just try to repeat that every day as well. And the gun. This is gun. Again. Rectangle. Oval. Star, diamond, heart. Good job. Days of the week. Good job. And then? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Good job. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what we usually do. So we usually do the homeschooling in the morning after his breakfast. And we usually just do about half an hour for the study and the rest will be like uh, sensory activities, play together and also like reading time and other stuff. And if uh, the weather is nice, we usually go outside first in the morning and later on when his mood is better and he's calmed down, I usually do the homeschooling for half an hour. So it really depends uh, on your kids mood sometimes we have a good day sometimes we have a bad day and that's okay so uh, go easy on your kids and go easy uh, on you as well and we usually try to do sensory activities as well every day and today it's just like uh, we are doing arts and crafts so I got this idea from a busy toddler on the Instagram and I also have uh, tons of video about science experience and how to entertain your toddlers I have tons of idea about sensory activities so make sure you check them out I'm gonna put the playlist how to entertain your toddler and preschoolers below so he loves this one. It's basically, he is trying to do a spider web, and you can do with uh, so many colors, or you can just do one color like him. And then in the middle, after you're done, you just like uh, take uh, take off the painter's tape, and then you can draw like a spider in the middle. And it's really easy, and he really loved this one. And I just use uh, like the paint that I got from dollar stores. You can use whatever that you want. Even you can even use marker if you want. So in Montessori, they also teach about practical life, so teach them how to be independent. So in here, I'm going to show you that uh, Brandon is wearing his own socks, so he can uh, wear his own uh, shirts and pants, and also he can take it off by himself. And we just try to practice that because if he don't use his own jacket for a long time, he might forget. So that's why we keep practicing. Uh, every day like he's wearing his own socks right now we're just trying to go out and then uh, on top of that also like uh, wearing his own jacket so you just put it on the floor like this and he can wear it on his own and it's so much better so you don't need to keep fighting with them to put on the jacket onto them and then as you can see it's really fast as long as they can do it and sometimes he can button him, uh, his jacket by himself and zip his jacket by himself but sometimes he needs help it depends on the jacket so if your child doesn't know how to do this yet uh, you can teach them uh, using this one so he can do like hoodies wrinkles and other stuff so they can also help with the household chore as well as their practice and he always uh, try to help me when we are making breakfast or lunch or dinner as well so this guy is helping me making a pizza using a tortilla so I have prepared the um, ingredients garlic powder onion powder pepper salt and the pizza sauce I also have cheese and spinach and chicken breast mm. I just use a tortillas here so basically based on the recipe you just need to heat up the tortillas for five minutes in 400 degree Fahrenheit and then after that you take it out and then you will put all the tomato sauce or the pizza sauce and then put all the toppings and put it for five minutes again so it's really easy and yeah so I already heated up the tortillas for 5 minutes and then after that, uh, I take it out from the oven. I put pizza sauce, cheese, uh, spinach, chicken breast and more cheese on top and I'm going to put the pizza on the oven for 5 minutes so that it's going to cook. 
So this is the after five minutes. So the pizza is done. So I made two more. So I made three in total, and you can put any toppings that you like, and um, you can eat it like this. It's really yummy. It's crispy. The tortillas, or you can just like fold it in half and eat it like that. And for the lunchbox ideas, I'm going to show you what I made for this week. So sometimes I made a hot lunch for him and sometimes I just make a snacks box for him. So uh, I'm going to share some ideas, but if you like to know in details what I made and what's inside, you can watch my previous video. It's about easy and fun lunchbox idea for kids. And I got tons of ideas. I have uh, part 1, part 2, and part 3. You can follow my Instagram as well. Share live whatever I do on uh, that day. I need what to make for your children. Next will be books ideas for toddlers and preschoolers and kindergartners. So right now I'm going to talk about book ideas because I always love to get book ideas from the Instagram or from the another YouTuber. So I know what to borrow from the library because we need to put on hold first for the books before you pick it up because of the current stations, uh, you cannot just go to the library and get the books. So I've been searching what is the best book for toddlers, preschoolers, like three-year-old, four-year-old, and I got some ideas from another Instagram, mommy blogger and YouTubers as well. So I thought I'm gonna share it with you. So let's talk about the books that teach some morals for the kids first. The first one is this one. It's called We Are All Wonders. This one is one of the famous books. It's about a kid that is a little bit different, but he is still an extraordinary kid. So uh, it's just to teach kids that to be nice with uh, another kid and if they don't look like other kids, so they need to be nice. So I'm trying to teach Brandon about this one that's why uh, on the picture is only have like uh, one eye no nose no the other eye and no mouth so i think this one has a really good moral stories another book is this one is the invisible boy so it talk about a kid that is a little bit quiet and a little bit uh, introvert so it's kind of like invisible in the classrooms and never got picked um in the team and uh, nobody noticed him in the class even the teacher sometimes so it teach another kid to be like nice with um, another one um, with another kid as well so I love to read this one for Brandon so he can learn uh, another one is Pete the Cat. So they have so many versions. I love for the good moral story. I love the uh, verse edition. So basically, on uh, whatever situations we need to be positive. So I really love the um, Pete the Cat of the first version. Um, it has the song as well. But they have so many uh, versions as well. And I got this one. So it's Halloween theme because it's in October. And this is Five Little Bunnies and Peter Cat. So this one is really simple. So uh, with this one, Brandon can look at the pictures and he can like reread the story to me, even though it's not perfect. But basically he will see the pictures and he kind of remember the stories that I uh, read to him and then he can repeat and he can reread that to me. I think because it has a lot of pictures and it's really simple, like the story is really simple. So I bet, uh, so I think this one is for a bigger kids, but somehow I borrowed this book with a different edition one and he can read back to me and this one as well. And another favorite of Brandon is this one. I've been reading this one for a couple times already. So Toto Mumu Lifestyles from the Instagram sent me this book. She lives in Vancouver and she sells the books in Amazon. I really love the stories and also the picture is really colorful and it's really cute. And Brandon loves this one as well. From this book, he can learn about the zodiac, the constellations and like letters. He can, uh, when he look at this book, uh, he knows all of this zodiac. Like he's Capricorn, I'm Aquarius and uh, his grandma is like Virgo. And his daddy is like cancer. So 
he loved this book so even though it's kind of long but he really loves it because of the color pictures and the stories and he can uh, read about he can also spell a uh, of the zodiac name as well like for example this one is Aries you can say that it, this is A-R-I-E-S then he can tell that oh this is the logo for like Aries this one's like for Virgo so I highly recommend this one I think she is really talented she is um, writing another book and it's like a Christmas theme so it's coming up soon and you can find her book in Amazon. Another fun book is this one. It's the Storybook Night. This one is recommended by my friend. And this is about griffins, trolls, and dragons. So he loves about this one as well. And he loves about Llama Llama. They have so many different versions as well. This is the 5 minute stories. And it's really interesting. But apparently Brandon loves this book. Uh, his favorite is actually Mary Curry so and it's called Little People Big Dreams and she wrote so many versions and it's like biography but it's like for children so the picture is really colorful and it's really cute so somehow Brandon really loved uh, this story about Mary Curry so I borrowed another book it's like Muhammad Ali and this one as well and I also put on a hold on different kind of book as well so as you can see they have so many versions of the book uh, with different featuring different people so i already put on hold uh, on, on most of this book beginning is like about stories and at the back it has like the autobiography the pictures from the baby until when they're older and it's a real story like autobiography and i also borrowed another book um Freaks Out is about its CBC spider. Wolf is coming. Uh, the twins blanket. Brandon loved this one as well. Especially if you have twins, it's gonna be really cute. And I think it has a really good moral story as well. If you have like two kids or three kids, it teach them about siblings and spark. And these two corduroy takes a bow and saffron ice cream. But Brandon uh, doesn't really like this one. But just in case your kids love it and if you're looking for something to borrow, you can try this two book. And for play times, I made a video before about the best toys for a three year old. So make sure you check them out if you're thinking what to buy for your kids. Brandon loves his Transformer robot so much, but he also loves magnetiles and Lego and he can build so many things using his imaginations and I'm quite surprised sometimes what he can build so it, he really surprised me every day and also if we go out on that day going to the playground he can play by himself for a long time after we got home and he's more calm and we usually try to go out every day when the weather is nice but because of the COVID and the uncertain situation we are really careful about this one so we usually go in the morning when it's really quiet and not too many people and afterwards we will take a shower so it's clean and it's germs free and I just found these hidden gems in Burnaby so I love this park and if you follow my Instagram if you live in lower mainland BC make sure you follow my Instagrams because I post Instagram story and Instagram post as well uh, about the best playgrounds in lower mainland BC especially in Burnaby so if the weather is nice like this, we try to go outside and I try to go in the morning so it's not too busy and uh, I found these hidden gems in Burnaby. There's a big sand pit so there's uh, two excavator as well which he loves and there's a smaller sand pit over there and there's a big up and there's a big slide over there and he can climb over there as well and there's a swing. I know so it's pretty good uh, but the and the parking is pretty good as well it's not part of the parking it's easy to park but the downside would be maybe it's across of the school so sometimes it might get busy if the uh, students come here when we got here in the morning and there's only another uh, kid besides Brandon so it's pretty quiet but now it's getting busy but I just asked him to uh, go to quieter place if it's too busy because of the uh, uncertain situations because I don't want him to catch the virus 
So make sure you follow my Instagram at Angie Lewis because I post so many new parks and attractions in Vancouver so you can get some ideas where to go uh, if you live in Vancouver area. The next attraction that I want to show you is apple picking at Taves Farm in Abbotsford, BC. It's about one hour from Burnaby and I really love it and it's almost the end of the season so they only have John and school apples at that time and it's really interesting experience I have lived in Vancouver for a long time but I never know that you can do apple picking so it's something that you can do if you're interested so that's all that I have for today that's how I entertain and how I homeschool my three-year-old make sure you check out my other video I have posted here how to entertain your toddlers and preschooler playlist so make sure you check them out thanks for watching guys bye Sometimes